Have you ever wondered what life was like behind bars at America's most notorious prison? Let's take a journey back in time to the infamous Alcatraz Federal Penitentiary, often referred to as The Rock. Secluded on an island in the midst of San Francisco Bay, Alcatraz was the final destination for some of the nation's most dangerous criminals. From the 1930s to the 1960s, this fortress-like structure was home to infamous inmates like Al Capone, the notorious Chicago mob boss, and Robert Stroud, better known as the Birdman of Alcatraz. But Alcatraz wasn't just about the notorious criminals it housed, it also witnessed some daring escape attempts. One of the most audacious happened in June 1962 when three inmates managed to break out of their cells, leaving behind dummy heads in their beds to fool the guards. Did they make it to freedom or perish in the icy waters surrounding the island? We may never know for sure, escaping Alcatraz a daunting task indeed. From an island in San Francisco to an island in New York, welcome to Rikers Island. This colossal complex sprawling across 400 acres is a world unto itself, located in the East River between Queens and the Bronx. With a population that often exceeds 10,000, it's a city within a city, housing inmates from all walks of life. Rikers Island is notorious for a multitude of reasons, its size, its tough conditions, and the controversies that have plagued its existence. Despite numerous reforms, the reputation of Rikers Island as a tough, challenging place to be incarcerated remains. It's a place where the mettle of both inmates and staff is tested daily. A place where every day is a struggle for survival and dignity. Rikers Island, a city within a city, a testament to the challenges of maintaining law, order, and justice in one of the world's most vibrant metropolises. Now we're heading to Colorado, to the most secure prison in the USA. Welcome to ADX Florence, or as it's ominously known, the Alcatraz of the Rockies. This maximum security fortress is designed to house the most dangerous offenders in the nation, those whose crimes are so severe that no other facility can contain them. The security measures here are the stuff of legends. They involve a labyrinth of control units, motion detectors, and cameras, all wrapped in 12-foot-high razor wire fences. Inside, the prisoners are kept in solitary confinement for 23 hours a day, in cells with a window so narrow it's impossible to determine your location within the complex. The types of criminals held at ADX Florence range from notorious drug lords to terrorists and spies. These are individuals who pose a significant threat to national security. It's a place where the worst of the worst are sent to disappear from the world. ADX Florence, where the most dangerous call home. Leaving the USA, we arrive in Norway at Halden Fengsel, a different kind of prison. Here, the focus is not on punishment, but on rehabilitation. Halden Fengsel, nestled in the lush forests of Norway, is often touted as the world's most humane prison. It's a place where inmates are treated as people, not just prisoners. Halden's approach is about more than just keeping inmates secure. It's about preparing them for life after prison. Inmates live in shared houses, not cells. They learn useful skills from cooking to carpentry that will help them reintegrate into society. There's even a recording studio for those with a passion for music. The facilities offer a stark contrast to many of the prisons we've explored so far. There's a strong emphasis on respect and dignity for all. The goal here is clear to reduce reoffending by treating prisoners with humanity. Halden Fengsel, a model of rehabilitation over punishment. Next, we journey to the heart of South America to San Pedro Prison in Bolivia. This isn't your typical prison. San Pedro is a society in itself, operating on a unique self-governing system. Inmates aren't just serving time here, they're living lives. They're buying and selling, running businesses, and even raising families. Yes, you heard it right, families. Inmates live with their wives and children within the prison walls, creating a community that's as vibrant as it is unusual. Jobs are available, ranging from cooking and cleaning to carpentry and maintenance, offering inmates a chance to earn a living and sustain their families. It's an ecosystem that's been built and sustained by the prisoners themselves. But don't be fooled. This isn't paradise. Crime rates within the prison mirror those outside, with issues of corruption and violence often surfacing. San Pedro Prison, a society within walls. Our journey brings us to Switzerland, to Champdallen Prison. But brace yourselves, because this is no ordinary prison. 
Champdalen offers a contrasting picture to what we typically envision when we think of incarceration. Imagine a place where the focus isn't solely on punishment but largely on rehabilitation. Yes, you heard that right. At Champdalen, the emphasis is on shaping better individuals ready to reintegrate into society upon their release. The prison authorities believe in the potential for change, fostering an environment that encourages personal growth and positive transformation. The facility is known for its relative comfort, providing an atmosphere that's more conducive to reform than retribution. But don't let the comfort fool you. The inmates are still held accountable for their actions and the rules are strictly enforced. It's a delicate balance, a blend of discipline and compassion. Champ Dolan is a testament to the fact that prisons can be more than just punitive institutions. They can also be places of change, growth, and second chances. Champ Dolan, where comfort meets confinement. Heading east to Thailand, we encounter the Big Tiger, Bang Quang Central Prison. Known for its strict regime, Bang Quang is a place where the rules reign supreme. This maximum security facility houses some of Thailand's most dangerous criminals, serving long-term and life sentences. The strict schedule, coupled with a harsh environment, earned it the nickname Big Tiger, a predator ready to pounce at any sign of weakness. Inmates face a rigorous daily routine starting at dawn and ending well into the night. Meals are basic with little variation and medical services are limited. Despite these challenges, a sense of community often forms within the prison walls. Inmates find solace in shared experiences and camaraderie, a testament to human resilience even in the toughest of conditions. Bang Kwang Central Prison a place where the stark reality of incarceration meets the indomitable human spirit. It's more than just a prison, it's a place where tigers roam. Back to Norway, but to a different kind of prison, Bastoy Prison. This facility is unlike any other, not just in Norway, but in the entire world. It's located on an island with inmates living in cottages and working the land. Yes, you heard it right, it's more akin to a small village than a traditional prison. Instead of focusing on punishment, Bastoy embraces a philosophy of rehabilitation. Inmates receive education, learn trades, and work on the prison farm. The goal is to equip them with skills and experiences that can help them reintegrate into society upon release. The open conditions and scenic surroundings of Bastoy might make one forget that it's a prison. The inmates are allowed to roam the island, swim in the summer, and ski in the winter. But let's not mistake it for a holiday resort. It's still a place for serving time, only with a different approach. Bastoy Prison, where luxury meets incarceration. Now we're dancing our way to the Philippines, to the Cebu Provincial Detention and Rehabilitation Center. This place is a world apart from your typical correctional facility. Instead of the grim gray walls you might imagine here, music fills the air and the inmates dance. Yes, you heard that right, they dance. This unique approach to rehabilitation started back in 2007 when the prison security advisor introduced dance routines as part of the inmates daily exercise. The idea was simple, to give the prisoners a creative outlet, a way to express themselves, to keep fit and to foster unity. The program was a roaring success and the dancing inmates of Cebu have since become a global phenomenon, their performances viewed by millions online. So, at the heart of this prison is an extraordinary story of hope, transformation, and the healing power of dance. Cebu Provincial Detention and Rehabilitation Center, where dance brings hope. Our final stop is in China, at the secretive Qin Chung Prison. This facility is shrouded in mystery, as it is known for housing some of China's most high-profile prisoners, many of them political figures who fell out of favor with the government. Qin Cheng's reputation is built on its strict security measures, designed to keep its notorious inmates under tight control. The prison's isolation and rigorous discipline are legendary, with the facility often referred to as China's fortress of solitude. Despite its austere reputation, Qin Cheng has also been the site of some surprising revelations as stories from its high-profile inmates have occasionally found their way to the outside world, casting a rare light on the inner workings of this enigmatic institution. Chincheng Prison, where secrets are kept and revealed. 